what the hell was that second goal? None of us could see what happened, how it got to her, how it got there. I think, you know, the ball popped out and uh, she may, I think she may have done a bicycle kick to keep it back in the mix. And uh, I was telling my team to step up and it's their choice what they decide to do. Uh, there's a player sitting on the six uh, next to Tori and just got it before her and had the entire goal open. So I think we're clearly a little tired and we've had a long road and these little tiny mistakes here and there, mental mistakes, cost us the game today. So as soon as we sharpen that up, kind of refocus, have a day to relax, uh, watch some film, watch some footage, see what we can do better, we'll be ready for Seattle. But as far as I'm concerned, this game's done and it's time to move forward because we have a big game coming up and it's a television game and uh, we're trying to get as many people watching the sport and growing the sport and we got to be better than what we were today. Do you think defensively things are going okay in the center? Um, are you pleased with how the center bats are coming together over this stretch? Yeah, I, you know, I'm really happy right now with Chappie. It's been a long road for her and um, anyone can see that she's getting more comfortable. She's going into tackles she wasn't going into before and as a goalkeeper, you know, I stick my, my neck out on the line for these these players and when I see them do it, it inspires me and it, you know, pushes me to work harder and to be okay with going in those 50-50 tackles. So same with Allie Krieger, she's fearless in front of the goal, throwing her body in the first half so someone's not scoring. And I think if we get that mentali mentality out of the rest of, of the team, I think the results will be different. Thanks. 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 Thanks